It's time that the church has made up its mind. In this hour, the Holy Spirit is calling for a remnant. In this hour, the Holy Spirit is calling for a church that will obey the Word of God in the face of a culture that despises the Word of God. If you cannot see the persecution coming against the church, you're spiritually blind and you can't discern the hour. But today, the Holy Spirit has begun a work in the people in this room and those of you watching all over the world. The truth of the matter is that though they may try, the world cannot silence the church of the living God. Though they may try, this culture cannot cancel the gospel. Though they may put pressure against the church, there will always be a greater power within the church. And any demonic spirit that rises against the people of God will bow before the Lordship of Jesus. Because no matter what spirit comes against us, there's a greater spirit who lives in us than the one that is in the world. And he is the Holy Spirit. Let them criticize you. Let them persecute you. Your family may turn against you. Your friends may turn against you. But I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. I don't know about you, but no matter what we're facing today, I know in my heart what I've decided. I don't care what some governor says. I know what I've decided. I don't care what some lukewarm church leader says, I know I have decided. I don't care about the clever sounding arguments that would try to persuade me to disobey the word of God because I know what I have decided. I've decided to follow Jesus. Though none go with me, though none go with me, there is no turning back. You know what Jesus said? He said that if you put your hand to the plow and you look back, you're not fit for the work. The hour calls for discernment. The hour calls for boldness. The hour calls for radical, undying love for the name of Jesus. The hour calls for loyalty to his lordship and his lordship alone. This is the hour of the remnant rising. This is the hour of the church in power. I don't care what anybody says, this nation belongs to the church. I don't care what anybody says, the nations of the world belong to the church. And there's nobody that's going to convince me otherwise. Because when you have the discernment of the Holy Spirit and the truth of the Word of God, you're unshakable. You're unshakable. And so tonight as we lift our hands and as we raise our voices, I want this not just to be a song. I want you to let it be a declaration, a declaration of your faith, an affirmation that you have been founded within that faith, an affirmation that there's nothing and no one that can convince you, that your eyes are fixed on Jesus and there's nothing that's gonna take your eyes off of him. So with hands lifted and voices raised, make it your declaration tonight. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.